Hey, what's going on guys? Coming again Z here. In this video, we're going to have a look at PyAuto GUI Python module uh, intended for the purposes of mouse and keyboard automation in Python. So if you're interested, without further ado, let's actually start. So the very first thing to consider, we actually need to install this PyAuto GUI module and it should be working on whatever operating system. So on Windows, most likely you need to say something like pip install and they pi auto GUI and hit enter but I'm on Linux so I need to say sudo and also specify the pip version pip 3.6 because I have multiple Python installed being installed on my system uh, obviously I already have this installed but just to give you an idea so it would just download the dependencies install and build the stuff and then it should be working so uh, here is the deal. So uh, what uh, what this sort of a library allows us, allows us to do, it's very simple. So we can run Python code that would be manipulating the mouse pointer, click events, drag and drop if needed, scrolling, uh, typing input in the text, so type in the text and the hotkeys as well. So let's have a look at all of these features step by step. So I just want to invoke my Python shell and here I need to say import pi auto GUI uh, and let's say as PG just just to make it a little bit shorter okay so the very first thing is uh, we can use the size method to get the width and the height of the screen so this is my current uh, width, and the width and height in pixels and uh, now let's go uh, and test moving the mouse. So you see the mouse pointer right over in here, okay? So I will now say like uh, pg dot move to, okay? So the mouse pointer is here and move to, let's say, absolute coordinates 100, 100, and let's say, let's say the duration equals to one and mouse has been moved you see mouse is now already over in here so mouse has been moved now if you want to move the mouse mouse relatively so you can simply say like pg dot move relative so let's say from the current position uh so the first one I'm not sure which is so this is the y coordinate so this should be x coordinate yeah uh let's say uh down uh, let's say three uh, 300 pixels down so now should be going down okay it go it goes down now we can make it going up back okay now we can make it uh so like this we can say move 500 to the right okay let's move another 300 to the right and let's move another 100 to the right okay and now let's move uh to the top so i just want to create a new tab here okay so let's say okay it's a bit too much so you can uh, obviously you can just uh figure out what this what the numbers are okay and let's say minus let's say minus 50 okay and let's say minus let's say 5 okay so now we can actually introduce the click event so if I can say click you see like uh, the click in event has just fired on uh, uh, on my browser on the right I just don't want to touch the mouse so here are my hands I'm not touching the mouse okay so now let's try to type something in so we see that uh, the browser address line is being active, so we can simply say pg dot type right. Um, sorry, yeah, it's just not not exactly the case. So I need to, yeah, obviously. So the mouse was here. So let's say, uh, let's say I can say pg dot click to. Uh, uh, as soon as I run this code, uh, I will just focus. Uh, I'll focus the, win the window of the browser so I would be able to start inputting uh, stuff in the command line uh, in the browser address line so comma and the next command to execute would be this pg dot type right and 
uh, now what I want to write so let's say HTTPS and google.com uh, and after uh, I want to I need to hit enter right so I can say pg dot type write and enter uh, sorry I need to make it in square brackets like this okay so as you can see I've just uh, I just did input this google.com hit enter so this this was done programmatically using Python and now this Google page appears here okay so I hope it's clear so the next uh, the next interesting thing to consider uh, how we can deal with a drag and drop so let's say I just put the mouse right over in here and if I can if I say pg dot uh, drag relative so drag relative so let's say 100 to the bottom and let's say 500 to the right and let's specify the duration equals to one okay now shoot yeah now it drags the text okay uh, I mean uh, just yeah it's uh, uh, pr probably <laughs> not yeah the coordinates not the most accurate but but just to give you an idea that we can actually uh, make use of this like I've just selected the text so I can also run uh, like hotkey command so let's say pg dot uh, hotkey and now I can specify let's say CDRL which stands for control left so the left control and let's say C this should copy uh, to the clipboard it should copy stuff to the clipboard okay Sorry guys, something has gone horribly wrong. So let's start again. Okay, so yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess I just need to, I just need to click first. So let's say pg dot click, and then pg dot drag relative. So let's say like 10, 10, and duration one. Okay. And now uh, this this sort of a, this word should be should already be in keyboard. So let's try to paste. Yeah, we uh, I just pasted this in. Okay, and let's now let's do it programmatically. So pg dot uh, drag relative. Uh, I'm sorry, p, p, pg dot hotkey and uh, ctrl left and v and okay. Oh, let's say yeah, it, it can't paste uh, into the console because control v does does doesn't doesn't work here. So to paste this into console, uh, it would be. Uh, left control I, I believe left shift and then V okay now it pastes now it pastes this so uh, what we had uh, currently in our uh, clipboard has been pasted to the console well, okay so uh, and another kind of essential thing to consider essential feature is scrolling so let's say I can say like pg dot click so we want to click uh, where the mouse currently is right over in here and then I want to say pg dot scroll and let's scroll up 20 pixels okay so we've just scrolled up okay now let's try to scroll uh, a bit more so let's say scroll 1000 okay It's probably hold on a sec. Yeah, it just scrolls. It, it just scrolls instantly. Okay, and if we say like so. Okay, so it doesn't it doesn't have the the duration. Okay, so it just scrolls 
it just scrolls up it just scrolls up for a given number of pixels though so let's try again like 200s okay so yeah here is the documentation well not the not, not the documentation but just a hint of how to use the scroll okay and the idea is that later on we can actually write a kind of script to automate the entire process of manipulating the mouse so let's say we can set up the mouse position somewhere and then uh, we can just write some commands to move the mouse to move the mouth, mouse back and forth clicking somewhere input in form so let's say uh, how likely this can be used so let's say you can submit the forms in the browser for instance well potentially click on captures I believe that's that that should be working as well because it's just a matter of the click event operating system wide so yeah this is the case and I guess there might be really many interesting uh, applications as well so I will have a look at this library a bit more and if I come up with something interesting I'll share with uh, I'll share with you guys in the next video so this is it from my side thanks for watching until the next time and take care